there is one subgenre of roguelikes that we have not experienced fully, and that is... Stop playing, stop. Hey, wait, wait, wait. First person roguelikes. There have been some in the past. Looking at you, Ziggurat. But in my search for the best of the best of the best games possible ever, 97% positive, 1,262 reviews. Mortal Sin. Loving the art style so far. It's obviously very, very stylized here. It's It's got like a three color scheme going on. Our quest is the quest for absolution. Milady. She had nothing good to say. Essentially, we want to become closer to God by punishing ourselves by fighting. Classic Paladin. We got an attack. We can hold up and do a Zelda whirlwind. We got a shift bash. We got a space bar kick. We got parries. Oh, okay. Hang on. There we go. Parry. Parry. <laughs> if I parry and then hit immediately, if I do it correctly. Hang on. Hang on! Very small window, but if I do it correctly, I automatically get a whirlwind attack. That's pretty cool. Combo damage multiplier on the left there. But are you, are you all right? So, kill things, survive. I can see a thing right there. Hey, buddy, you want to be my first thing? Pear! I just cut your head off. Sir? Cut his legs off. Dis oh, what the heck was that? Dismemberment's supposed to be the best way to kill your enemy. Let's hit that head off for you, buddy. Chest immediately. Helmet of vitality. Plus eight health, plus three luck. Um, the buttons are kind of overlapping in the bottom there. Is it E to equip and R to sell? Yes. Sword of protection. Damage 35, speed 1. What was my normal sword at? 25, this is 35. That is not the best trap. You you could do better. It goes down, okay. Maybe there's a secret entrance or a secret ability to do a thing. Kick! Bruh! Oh my goodness. Serpent Stinger of Haste. Speed minus, defense minus, but damage and speed up. Oh, look at this thing. Oh, that's way slower, okay. But the range is higher. Oh, that's an eyeball. <laughs> Boop. All right, they're, they're starting to get the hang of the traps and which way to face them towards the door. Good job. Push the button. That probably opens up the, the door over here, right? Yep. Anybody want to try out my new weapon? He just disappeared. That guy is just dying to the trap. Here he comes. Oh, what is this? Hello? What, what happened? That really hurt me. This attack animation is so pathetic when I do the, the thrust. Zero of, oh, 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 I'm fine. I'm fine. You think I can parry these bullets? But ah, yes. Bam, check that out. Check this out. Chest has got. Helmet of Brutality. Zero health, zero luck. Why would I take that? Enchanted Morning Star of Protection. It's uh, gold. Wave Blade. Power Strikes trigger a magic blade spell. Consumes durability on use. Okay, so it's like a shield, so we have better block, I think. Like a, a, a bigger parry window. All right, let's go with it. Albert unlocked. Sure. What is this? Choose one of these three things. Weapon mastery. Melee weapons have more durability and damage. Combo mastery. 3.1 times max combo multiplier. Combo multiplier has 110% duration. Ruin. Critical strike still 220%. Let's go with just the weapon mastery. I don't really know how to keep my combos up. All right, new weapon. You dodging me? Armor of vitality. Let's get some armor on. Yes. The large intestine in the wall. You no, know, it's a bunch of bodies. Is this your fault? Definitely, definitely a vibe. Oh, they're moving. Berserking Sword of Brutality. Minus damage, plus speed, plus luck, minus defense. A Berserker Rage, you are invulnerable during Whirlwind. Let's give it a go. What's this? Wizard Oil restores some weapon and equipment durability. Oh, I bought, that's a shop. You took my money. Cool. Not really a huge fan of durability in games. It's just a way that they force you to try to use different weapons. I think that, you know, there's better ways to entice people to use more weapons, different weapons. And that's just by like scaling the weapons so that they get better and better as you go. But maybe there's some like broken combos and broken weapons 
that's also fun. And it's also boring to have like a really overpowered thing and then take that to the end. Brand of Sacrifice. Enemies can detect you from further away and are more aggressive. Plus one item level for drops and 19% kick damage. Go. Hello? This looks like a boss arena, doesn't it? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The first dungeon, this just feels like a strafe simulator. We're doing a great job by just moving sideways. No block necessary. The sweeping attack of the sword, too, is pretty good. I don't think the mace had that. I don't even have to aim. <laughs> this bro just lost his head on the, on the track. What are you doing? Good stuff. Sword's already half health, though. Interesting. And what is this blue? Like, if I use one of my Vs, is that what this blue is? That's what that blue is. It's a little bit of a new vial. Fill as you go. Got it. There's a, a teleporter? Um, I, I'm not sure I want to be here. Kick jump. In this dimension, your kick propels you upwards. I'm hoping that this isn't like, you know, you die in here, or you die in your dreams, you die in real life. But I'm all for mini games. What? Yep, 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 yep. You think I haven't played Super Mario Sunshine? Please. Weapon Mastery plus one. Hell yeah. All right. Good stuff. It's kind of like Gunfire Reborn Vaults. Excuse you. This guy's got a sword. Is he on my team? He's slashing that dude. Wait a second. I cut his head off, though. Maybe he's attacking indiscriminately because he doesn't have a head, right? That would make sense. Hey, buddy. Come back here and I'll bite your arms off. Vault. Oh, this is all money. Okay. Spend gold essence to craft powerful items. Let's do it. Trapping claws of brutality. Yes. Oh, actually, okay. I have two swords equipped. There we go. F to unequip. Now I can use my claws. Cool. That's my shift. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Trapper, enemies hit by traps will explode on impact. Um, excuse you. Oh my god. Health flask, please. Just run, run by that. Freeing armor, minus five health, plus defense. Escape artists, take reduced damage from traps and poison. Cannot be slowed. Going down further. I don't know how many floors there's supposed to be. Damage is increased by luck percent. Health is reduced by luck percent. Yeah, nah, I'm gonna go weapon mastery plus two then? Weapon mastery plus three? No. Oh, hello, sir. That scared me. All right, we should be pretty quick with the claws, right? I would assume that if I try to block, I would, oh, okay, hang on, hang on, hang on. If I block with these things, I probably still take damage since it's not a shield, maybe, possibly. All right, it's on, it's on. Let's go, who else is here? Picked the wrong day to mess with me, wall hands. Vaults. Oh my goodness. Buy a health flask? We're gonna fill up one pretty soon here. It's max four anyways. All right, let's go up. Nice. Enchanted cleaver of brutality. Can I swap out? There we go, two purple swords now. Yeah, I gotta fall. I think onto that thing through the middle here. <gasps> I just wanted to look. I just wanted to look. I lost everything. No, you did not. You took literally my helmet, my chest piece. Got gloves back though, sucker. All right, other vault, hook me up. No equipment in here. Uh, I was selling all the weapons on the ground too. There's not gonna be anything left for me. I would have known that. I would have, you know, held off on. Oh, you can break these things? Okay, that would have been nice to know. Oh my goodness. Now would be a great time for a boss fight. What this? Increased enemy movement attack speed, but plus two item levels for drops and healing from health potions plus. Um, I'm gonna say no. All right, we gotta fight some people here with no equip. Okay, th tell me this is not a boss drop. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a boss. This is a boss fight. I was kidding about the boss thing. Yeah, this is great. This is good timing. This is good timing for me. I'm just happy to be here. Happy to be a part of all this. Thanks for playing, everyone. Kick. Kick. You like that? You like that? How about some of this? Drink up. Drink up. 8 out of 13. 9 out of 13. So it seems like if we get rid of the ads, it might just be me against the big guy. It's the first dungeon. I should be able to handle this, right? I'm an expert here. Ow. Hit him right in the crotch. 
Do you want to dismember them, right? They're going for that hurt arm or one of his legs. No, what is this? No, stop it. But there is something in there. It's new gloves. I got him. Did that do anything? Arm is almost off. Got his arm off. Oh, but that leg. Got him. Got his leg off. Okay, he's just casting that ability. I'm out of healing. I'm out of healing. Now or never. Sir, I don't know if you know you don't have legs. Got him. <whistles> Enchanted longsword. There was just a... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He must have dropped that, because I did not see that weapon on the ground. I was going to say, there was a weapon on the ground the whole time. No. You know what? My gloves broke, too. I can't believe I made it through that entire thing with no equipment and broken gloves. Cestus of Brutality. Ultra rare. Bloody Armor of Vitality. That sounds nice for me. Or Iron Armor of Protection. If I use the Bloody Armor of Vitality, my power strikes with fists trigger a blood orb spell. Drains health on cast. Nah, let's go with the Armor of Protection, maybe. Shielding Helmet of Vitality. Boots of Power. All the things that I lost. And into the portal. Complete a dungeon. Complete dungeon a... Hey lady, can I get some health potion back? Elena must reach level one to unlock this topic. Well, next up, the cave. Let's go. So far, this is pretty interesting, I gotta say. I'm having a good time. Reminds me kind of of Slasher's Keep. For you. You cast, okay. Necromancer, kind of. Blood pool? Probably don't stand in that. My inner deep rock galactic dwarf is very hurt right now that I can't mine this. What's this? It's a nothing. Down further. So we're on caves B2. We could have done caves A to dungeon B. Forest is still locked, so that's out of the question. Complete this level to unlock a permanent reward. Complete this level to unlock a permanent reward. Complete this level to unlock a permanent reward. Alrighty. <laughs> if I can beat the caves right now, I will unlock the forest. Oh, the sweeping attacks. The sweeping! Soulful Cleaver of Vitality. Let's try it out. Yeah, it's... It's a thing. Oh, okay. That's a big guy. That's a big enemy. There's a lot of blood in the ground, too. Weapon Mastery plus one. Yes. This says Power Strikes trigger a magic axe spell. Is that like click and hold? Like that. Yeah, that seemed to be a... Yeah, that's a powerful axe spell. Gotta get better at uh, using the secondary abilities on my weapons. Caves 3. We have... Speed has a 110% multiplier. Weapon Mastery plus 1. Or Chains of Ice. Dismembering legs is a 10% chance to freeze nearby enemies. Sure. Alright, legs first. Who wants them? Get some legs, get some legs. Oh my goodness. Run, run. I, I'm stuck. Ah! I didn't know they could uh, attack from that far away. Hey, look, there's more classes. That was me playing the struggler. There's monk, paladin, mage, berserker, reaper, duelist, hunter, vampire, martyr, gladiator, warlock, stalker, hoarder, enigma. New run as a monk. Roundhouse kick. Fists of steel. Unarmed block prevents all damage, so we don't need a shield. Savagery. Bash and punch deal 120% damage. Crafting. Craft three powerful items. You can only choose one. Oh, I kept all my money. Okay. Fiery boots of vitality. Launch a fireball when you kick. Oh, we're going to be kicking all day. Sorry. Still haven't leveled up. I don't know what, uh, what your deal is. Let's go right back in. Nothing but kick run. Come get some feet. Immediately get more boots. Come on. Fireball, away. <laughs> this looks ridiculous. I want to see this from third person. My special ability, Dragon Punch. I didn't even use my special ability the last time. I got to wrap my head around just the normal buttons first. But this one seems worth. Invincible uppercut that deals bonus damage and causes a fire explosion. Show me. Who wants it? Who wants it? You do. Freeing boots of power. Take reduced damage from traps and poison. No. 
Quest, complete the level without taking any damage. Shared Misery, dismemberment has a 10% chance to also dismember one or more nearby enemies. Well, we're not really dismembering with our fists as much as we are just clobbering. Combo Mastery again. Temporal Rift, nearby enemies are slowed by 6%. B, that sounds nice. All right, don't get hit ever. Crouch, take out his feet. We're not like that good at dismembering. Guillotine of Vitality. Wait, the, the shoes are a guillotine? Hmm. No more fireball, but look, <laughs> there's a sword of... <laughs> it's perfect! You'd think that it would give me plus damage, though. If there's a literal weapon on the end of my foot... Oh, 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 oh. I can't take damage. That was a trap. I don't want to mess with the ranged guys. I kind of want to bring them over here. Wait for it. Oh my goodness. Minced meat. It just says speed 8 plus 18 health. It has to be more damage, right? Slamming armor. Plus zero health, plus zero speed. Bash and punch damage is increased by half your defense. Yeah, okay. We do be punching, you know? Oh, I, I pushed the- Oh, that scared me. Oh my God. I was like, what happened? The door closed. Foot, 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 foot. No ranged attacks here, you cheater. Foot. We done? I think we're done. Oh my God, I was clenched that whole time into the teleporter. Please tell me if I fall off this, I don't take quote-unquote damage. Because I still haven't taken any, as you can see in the upper right. Temporal Rift plus one. Nearby enemies are slowed by 8%. A note of that trap. And there's another one right there. Temporal Rift again. Bruh. Bruh, 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 bruh. We totally did it. No damage. Quest completed. Return to Helena for your reward. Uh, it's another thing where we have to fight a bunch of people. Foot, foot. I even threw in a little bash in there. Bash, punch, uppercut, foot, bash. Okay, I got hit there. I, I'm getting real hit. I'm getting a real hit. You do not want to be in the mi- Ah! Oh, I gotta get better at my parries. We can do better than this. Foot. <laughs> Oh, I love the sw okay, the sweep foot. That's good. Crouch down. Sweep foot. Keep it going. Keep it going. Sweep. Sweep. Fiery gauntlets of brutality. Launch a fireball when you kick again. Oh man, if I had this with the boots that launched fireballs, I wonder if I could fire two fireballs. Slamming boots of haste. Bash and punch damage increased by half your defense. Let's have that shiny rare thing to it though. All right, I'm gonna make this switch and we're gonna go to punching instead. So we're gonna get rid of the fireball when I kick thing again. Go for high defense, which increases my punch again. Last floor, I think boss is coming up here. Defense has a 110 multiplier, yes. Both my armor and my boots say that my bash and punch is increased by defense, so we're doing well on this, but hello. Punch, punch, bash. It feels good. Oh, you gotta tease me with more foot guillotines. Tough guy, we got a tough guy here. Oh my god, the power of my punch. Let's get it, go. Bloody Gauntlets of Brutality. Gold. Bloody Palm. Power strikes with your fist trigger a blood orb spell. Drains health on cast. Regains most health on expiration, though. My gauntlets right now give me plus 15 defense. And the new one's zero defense. I'm going for defense power build. This has got to be the boss, right? I'm ready this time. An immortal pursuer will appear if you stay in a level for too long. Nope. Boss time. Same guy? You got nothing, dude. Let's go for the ads first, like we did before. I'm really liking the shift dash thing that we got going on. We're moving real quick around the map. Strafing seems key right now. All right. Dude's already missing a leg. Look at this. Look at how much more powerful we are when I actually have items. Is he dead? Is that it? I'm back. Helena, gold essence. A feat worthy of praise. Claim your reward, monk. That's a lot of gold. Should we craft something else? I really don't need anything. I'm curious to know what they're even going to offer me. Soul Siphon. Greatly increase all essence gains. That's cool, but I need my defense. Escape Artist. Take reduced damage from traps and poison. Zero defense. Bloody Palm. Power strikes with your fist trigger a blood orb spell. No, 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 no. All right, cave's time. Bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. Bloodbath. It's bloodbath time. So where I went wrong last time is that whenever you see a symbol above an enemy's head, it means that they're going to hit you and you have to block no matter what. Slamming armor of power. 
Ah, excuse you. Oh man, when you're in the middle of combat, I feel like they should not put that stuff on the screen. This thing, oh wait, it opened up. I didn't know we could open these. I don't, I don't want it, it's trash, but that's cool. How did that last one open? It's almost like I knocked an enemy into it or something. Saves two. Sustain a 2.5 times combo multiplier for five seconds. I think it goes away pretty quickly. So if we're gonna do that for five seconds, we should probably move and just keep punching through the entire dungeon. Mini boss here that spawns other enemies. This might get our combo multiplier up there. Quest completed. I took a huge hit though. Oh my goodness. Okay, we did a thing there. This one gave me an ability though. Defense 120% multiplier. That's perfect for my build. Immortal Claws of Brutality. Cheats death. Gain brief invincibility when you are dealt a killing blow. Can only trigger once every 30 seconds. It's zero defense though. All right. Caves three. Armor Mastery. Armor has 110% durability and drops have plus one item level. Or more defense. Or more nearby enemies are slowed. Maybe the slowing, honestly. Slowing the enemies down so I get more attacks off. Very helpful. See now that symbol that showed up in the middle of the screen. Pretty sure that just means attack damage imminent. Kill or block. And last time I did neither of those things and I died a horrible death. Oh, I got hit by a trap. Can we not hang around this trap here, please? Defense has a 130% multiplier. Perfect. Here we go. Enemies may release a scare on death. I don't know what that means. So I'll say no. Uh-oh. This looks different. This boss? 31 enemies. Does that number increase then if enemies spawn enemies? Okay. Strafing doesn't seem like it's just gonna work for this area here. Ow. Okay, see now that attack right there. When I see that symbol, I gotta run. Did my gauntlets break entirely? They totally did. That's not good. Apparently, if you don't repair your stuff before it hits zero, it's just gone. Like, my boots are gone. Oh, you got parried. Going deep. Going deep with the fists. I'm standing in this, like, blood pool, though, is the only problem here. Sinful offering unlocked. Increase your stats in the starting area for high cost. Where? This is the last floor, so just gotta survive this, then we unlock the, the last, last floor. Can hear you back there. Mini boss. Oh, the blocking. The blocking! I must get, like, superpowers when I parry. What's this? Purge curse. Spend gold essence to remove a random challenge orb curse while retaining its bonus. Interesting. Come on in, big guy. Holy parry. Claws of protection. Yeah, I'll go for some claws. Hello? Oh, oh, oh my god! Fire uppercut. Oh my god. Heal, 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 heal. Got him. I got him. We got him. Did we win? We saw one. Forest unlocked. Max passive skill. I unlocked a new thing here from Helena. Defense 200%. Bash punch 200%. Nearby enemy slowed 24%. I'm gonna go savagery. Bash punch 200%. Sinful offering. What's this? 16,000 gold for stats. Keep going. Spend it all. It might just be this one run, though, that we get those stats. <laughs> All right, to the forest we go. To imminent doom. Big guy, big sickle guy. Bring it on. I got Fist of Fury. He's got tiny sickle guys that come out of him. That's hilarious. Little beads. I just killed a bunch of babies. How is this supposed to take me closer to God? Is this what God wants? Bring it. Parried. Parried. Pumpkinhead spawns these guys. Got it. Kill him first. That is the silliest looking trap I've ever seen. Second floor. No. Ah! Stupid traps, man. Just take your health. Just charge through. Just charge through everything. That's a saw blade. There's a saw blade under the box. I'm not sure anyone saw this saw. Okay. There's a saw blade under the box. I saw the box moving and I was like, kill the box. It's a fake box. Nope, saw blade 
under the box. Well, that could have gone really, really well if I didn't try to 1v1 a saw blade under the box. I had fun. This was more fun than I thought it was going to be. I see why it's 96% positive, 97%. I would love to know your thoughts on Mortal Sin by Dicola. That's got to be a Nicola. That's, that's an N. Combat felt pretty fluid. A lot of the times I took damage, it felt like I deserved it, which is a hard thing to master in a game like this, I think. I still kind of felt, though, that the durability feature was unnecessary in this game, because I feel like if you look at, for example, Zelda and how durability works in that game, it, it forces you to continually pick up new weapons and use new things. And this one, since I could repair it myself with those blue orbs, with the potions, I just kind of kept the same equipment and then just had to suffer through kind of almost somewhat breaking all of my stuff during long fights. Like that dungeon where we had to fight 31 enemies. My equipment wasn't going to survive, so I don't think that durability adds anything to this game, but I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Once again, comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I wish I could lose 8% of my stats every floor? Well, now you can. Welcome to David. David lost control of his power and now loses 8% of offensive stats every time he goes down a floor. Killing a boss grants 4% stat bonus, and killing a champion grants 1% bonus. He can only siphon from a champion once every other room. Tanya David starts with a gulped purple heart. He also brought Jonathan with him, his trusted plushie. And upon use, reveals the boss room or grants plus 3 luck if he's already there. Why do I have a rock stuck in my head?